Uh, my name is Sarah Henry. Um, I'm the Constituent Relations Coordinator in the Office of Student Care and Assistance, which is under the Dean of Students and um, the office, as well as the pantry and the clothing closet, which are two programs that I kind of oversee, um, are just here to help connect students with resources for whatever issues they might be going through, um, especially if they're going to be getting in the way of the students being successful in classes and then just as people. Um, and so one of the things that we frequently talk about, especially with working at the pantry, is campus food insecurity. Um, so there are there's a lot of data um, about kind of how many students or folks that are associated with university communities experience food insecurity. Um, and actually, so Dr. Sarah Bruck, um, that used to be at the University of Iowa, did a study asking students um, how often they had either skipped or cut the size of the meals that they were eating because they didn't have enough money for food. Um, and so in the data showed that in 2013, 65% of students reported that they'd skipped or cut the size of meals in the last year. And then in 2018, that number was 58%. Um, so while those are different numbers, both of them are over half, um, which is alarming that that many students have um, just in a year have lessened the amount of food that they're consuming because they can't afford to. Um, and there, we, we've experienced that a lot with folks that come into the pantry. So uh, the food pantry at Iowa serves students and we also serve faculty and staff. So um, if you have either your ID card or if you just know your ID number or your Hawk ID, um, you can come use the pantry. Uh, and we recommend you do about once per week. Um, but yeah, we don't do any kind of income screening or anything like that. A lot of food resources do ask you to prove how much you make or where you work or things like that. Um, but as long as you are a member of the university community, we want you to come and use the food pantry. Um, and so at the pantry, we have, we're open um, a few days a week. And then, like I said, we ask you to come about once per week and take what you and your household need for the week. So we've got all kinds of things. We got shelf stable things like dried pasta and beans, um, mac and cheese and other like meal, like microwave meals or like pasta entrees. Um, lots of canned goods that can last you a while. So you can get veggies, fruits, um, beans and soup that way. Um, we recently started making it a priority to buy what we usually refer to as culturally diverse foods. Um, so that was kind of in an effort to um, take action on the fact that not everybody that's part of the university community, and in fact, a lot of people that are part of the University of Iowa community, um, don't generally eat what you would think of as like a traditional American diet, which is mostly what we were catering to before that. Um, so we have that section and then we've got fridges and freezers, which we tend to keep full of those more expensive like fruits and veggies when they're fresh, um, milk and eggs. We do our best to have as much of that kind of stuff as well as meat um, and then other just kind of frozen um, either meals or like treats sometimes we get. And then um, bread and baked goods, we usually have a good supply of too. So we try to make it as much like a grocery store experience as possible. Um, we want folks to take what they want and need. We don't do limits on anything. Um, so if you really need to stock up on a certain something for the week, go for it. Um, we kind of operate under the belief that everyone knows their need better than we do. So um, yeah, definitely. We are always trying to get people to um, use the resource and know about it and tell stu other students about it because it's here for the community to use. And we want to make sure that if anybody is ever even thinking about cutting the size of a meal that they're eating or skipping the meal or going to bed early or things like that, um, we want them to absolutely come in and take as much as they need. And um, if just the pantry alone is not meeting the need, we also help connect folks with either other community food resources or financial resources or um, the um, staff and student care and assistants are really great at just kind of connecting and understanding 
your story as a student and what you might need help getting connected with, um, even if it's not related to food insecurity, because we know all of um, those experiences are often tied together. So um, yeah, we encourage people to come to the pantry, get their needs met. And also if there's a need that we're not meeting, we'd love to find a way to um, help you meet that too.